bonjour everybody it's the mad diff doctor here and i am getting very fed up um, answering loads of questions on uh, half shafts so here we go i'm going to give you um, basically a quick rundown of the front axles of land rovers and the options so here you have my best drawing um, i don't do back of fag packet because i don't smoke anymore it's back of envelope instead so at the top, apart from the smiley face, hello, you have uh, a half shaft drawn, CV end on the left, diff end on the right. So uh, the most common question I get asked is about 32 spline CV shaft shafts. Now a 32 spline is the weakest of the lot. Absolutely a piece of junk, and I'll show you why in a minute. The 32 spline shaft will always have a 24 spline at the other end, which goes in the diff and it will always break at the 32 spline end and I'll show you why in a minute. The second most common one is on early 90s and such like and you will have 23 splines at the CV end, mm, nice and big and better, and only have 10 splines at the diff end which will be a 10 spline diff and I'll show you the difference in a minute. Now what you can do is you can go to uh, Dave Ashcroft or you can go to Cam which is now all makes, and you can buy heavy duty half shafts, which not only are made of better metal than standard, but they also have a different spline count, and they have 23 at the CV end and 24 at the diff end. So the first one, 32 24, and the last one, 23 24, are your choices for a 24 spline diff. And if you have a 10 spline diff, 23 10. Now the problem comes if you want to actually upgrade and you've got a 24 spline diff, you've got to buy 23, 24 heavy duty shafts because they're not a standard Land Rover make. And then on top of that, you're going to have to buy either Ashcroft or Cam CV. So it starts getting very expensive. But let me show you now why the differences exist and what the differences are and why uh, the 23, 24 is such a strong combination. So here's a 10 spline. This is a 10 spline half shaft uh, it's actually one of my uh, building blocks that I use for building centers but that's a 10 spline unit here is a cam stub unit which I've uh, lovingly turned into a 24 spline building unit and that's got 24 splines on and in the background here is a 32 spline CV uh, which has lovingly been cut off because my mates doing a project and I said oh I'll have that because it will be quite useful now when you look at these the 10 spline has got massive great splines cut into it, which are really deep and really strong. The problem is that if you go and measure from this side here to that side there, the actual core thickness of that is not what you not as much as you'd think it would be. If you look at the 24 spline, the splines are quite chunky. There's 24 of them, um, but it means that what's called the root, which is, if you like, the depth of this bit here right into the corner and to the other side, is actually bigger than that one and I'll show you in a minute and if you look at the 32 spline well frankly the splines on it are um, very fine indeed they're not unknown to actually shear themselves off and uh, they're also a lot smaller so let me just show you something this is a 24 spline end this goes into a 24 spline CV and if you look at this with my vernier when I put it on there, the size of it is 32 mil. When I put this onto a 10 spline, it's very difficult, you know. There is a significant ooh there. And if I actually close that up, that's 27.9. That's a big difference. If I go back to this one here and I actually measure the core size, the core size here is around about 30. Now, 30, if I take that right into there, you're looking at core size of 25. And if you go to this horror, that will actually fit over there. So it's actually smaller. That is actually smaller than the core. If I actually look at the core size of a 32, about there, 22, 10 spline. 24 spline.
that's the main difference and the fract if you look at a 23 24 they're almost the same width at each end and that is why the 32 spline 32 the 32 spline shafts in the late Land Rover CVs break like carrots the 10 spline even though it's old is actually stronger than the 32 spline and if you go for a 23 24 spline which is this baby here it's the strongest of the lot but you've got to go to Ashcroft's or Cam to buy something so there you go it is not a stronger unit which people think now the Puma has an odd um, unit in it and actually it's a little bit stronger than a standard shaft but it's not as strong as a heavy duty shaft but those are basically the shafts you can get in a Land Rover hope it helps bye for now Thank you.